Hello folks, thank you very much for joining me for another FC24 Tactics video today. My name is Ash and this is the home of FC24 Tactics on YouTube. No one does it better, more accurately and puts more research into these teams than this channel right here. So thank you very much for joining along and let's get cracking. This time around, I have for you Ralph Rannick's Austria Tactics. You guys have been relentless in requesting this system. It's obviously captured a lot of people's imaginations and rightfully so for their impressive group stage performance in Euro 2024, but also the way in which they play. They play with no fear, they're brave, they want to press, they want to take the game to the opposition, and I think people have really taken to this, unlike a certain man named Gareth and his clan. As always, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload. And with that being said, let's first talk about this formation. So we have kind of a 4-2-3-1. It is a narrow version of the 4-2-3-1 though, because what you're looking to do, as you'll see here, is you actually want to move Sabitza and Lima into left attacking midfielder and right attacking midfielder respectively. It's very important that these guys control the half channels and the half spaces. They do drift out wide on occasion, but really what they're looking to do is press from inside to out. They really want to cut out those passing lanes in the central areas of the pitch and force the opposition out wide. And this is one of the reasons why it's something you've seen fairly often or pretty much continually throughout Ralph Rangnick's career when he's been at Manchester United, at Leipzig, etc. His teams have always crowded out those central areas with their press and look to force the opposition out wide. And that's what we're looking to do here, which is why you want to move them into attack midfield. Other than that, though, there aren't any other position changes. You want to keep these guys, the fullbacks, at right and left back as opposed to wing back. And you've also got these two, Seifeld and Grilich, in this case, at defensive midfield. With regards to the lineup, quickly want to say that he's experimented a little bit. We've seen twinking, tweaking, and tinkering. Um, and this is partly because of the kind of high energy that they do utilize. He's trying to filter them in, trying to keep people rest here and there. They've really switched between quite a lot of centre back pairings. They've used a different centre back pairing for every game in the group stage. In this case, we're going with Danzo and Verba, which he did use in the first game, but he's also used Lionheart. He's also used Trauner as well. So he's ex experimented there. Vimmer, we've also seen come in for Lima. So, really, in terms of the starting lineup, you can tweak with this and kind of adapted to how you see fit. Let's talk about it from a tactical perspective then. Starting off with our defensive style, we have press after possession loss. In order to implement that counter-pressing system that is so prevalent and a key characteristic of his system. Now, despite what people might tell you, it isn't a relentless press. They, what they're really good at, what has really impressed me is how they know when to take maybe like 10, 20, 30 seconds off and just kind of regain some of their fitness levels, some of their energy levels a little bit and preserve their stamina. They know when to then put the foot on the gas and press. They're really good at kind of going in between that. So this press after possession loss really lends itself to that. In order to kind of get more of a press and instigate presses after you've just lost possession, what you really want to do is you want to use the key, teammate contain function and you also want to use the team press function, which is down and then left on the D-pad as well. The team width is on 40, stretching out a little bit, as we've spoken about with the right and left attack midfielder. You're going to be very com compressed, very condensed. So what you're looking to do here is, again, shift out to those wide areas when you do force them out wide. The depth is on 70. That's going to make it a high block, and it is just about a high block as well. Offensively, what do we have? Well, we have slow build-up for the build-up play. They want to build through the thirds, but they then have chance creation on forward runs. What they're always looking to do, they are so brave in possession, they take risks, they play the lower percentage passes, and forward runs actually plays into this because players are going to make runs and try to show for that pass that is going to be a little bit less likely to come off. You know, it's going to be more risky, but that's what they're looking to do. They want to try and be brave, they want to open up teams, they want to penetrate teams, and they feel like the best way to do that is to play those lower percentage passes. The width is on 60, that's going to be more of a, a balanced and generic way for positioning, and then players in the box is going to be on 6, giving you roughly the front four attackers as the ones who are going to get into the box for all those crossing situations. Finally, both the corners of free kicks are on 4. So let's talk about the player instructions then, shall we? But before we do, I quickly want to say, if you want to see more exclusive tactics that are only available, not on YouTube, and you want to see the tactics package with ratings and rankings of every system we cover on the channel, behind the scenes videos of my scouting career, Discord server access, and a whole lot more, check out my Patreon because you get all those perks and more on there. The best way to support the channel, these guys are keeping the channel going and they are absolutely wonderful, wonderful patrons. So I want to say a huge thank you to them. And as always, if you want to get access to those exclusive videos and many more perks, 
go and check it out. The link is in the description and the comment section down below. With regards to the player instructions, then the keeper is on comes or crosses. He's saving outside the box. He's only on balance. Something I think he could improve on a little bit more is pushing up and trying to sweep a bit. Sometimes they've been found. He's been found wanting a little bit in those situations. The opposition have got him behind. And he hasn't quite had the high starting position in order to deal with that. The centre backs, you don't need to make any changes, so you can keep them as they are. And then with regard to the two full backs, both of them are on the same instructions. That is going to be join the attack and overlap. And as I say, it is the same on either side. Gridic is the one who is going to hold his position more in front of the defence and act as that possessional pivot. So his uncut passing lanes, very important that they do em employ a zonally orientated press and then he's going to be on stay back whilst attacking through his attacking support as well his defensive position is cover wing and positioning freedom is stick to position on the other hand with the right defensive midfielder you're going to have him on balance attack as he's going to push forward a little bit more and be the link between kind of the center backs and the defensive midfielder and then the front four as well for the attacking what's also important is that he's, through his positioning freedom you've got him on drift wide as he's going to come and support the likes of the right back in this case and lima as well in order to create numerical advantages over on that side with baumgartner as the central attack midfielder he's on comeback on defense to get him tracking back and his support and crosses get into the box of the cross his positioning freedom is stick to position now he may occasionally drift out wide but he does so more when he's in possession he's on the ball he likes to kind of drive his runs direct them out wide generally when he's out of possession and he's looking to receive the ball he's going to stay within kind of the width of the 18 yard box so Bitter over on the left is on comeback on defense again and also get into the box of the cross but this time his positioning freedom is going to be drift wide and what we're looking to do as we've spoken about already is yes they are going to sometimes come out into the wide areas just to make sure that those fullbacks aren't completely isolated but it's important that they're doing this from the left and right attacking field positions and as we spoke about already it's also the same for Lima as well now one thing I will say is that Vimmer has also played he's played on the right and he's also played on the left he's an out and out winger and you can kind of see his personal experience in play when he does come on because when they do play him he does drift out wide a little bit more so if you do want to bring him on and you want to tailor it to him personally you can bring him on into our right or left situ midfield and then you actually just want to go on and move him out to left wing what you would then do is you would have his instructions on this you'd have him on comeback on defense balance whip for his chance creation and his support runs are going to be getting behind and then his support on crosses is going to be getting to the box of the cross so that's just something that you may want to be aware of in case you do want to adapt it a little bit for when Vima does come on finally we do have Arnautovic up front let's focus on him next he's on stay central for his support runs and his attacking runs is going to be on target man finally his defense support is going to be stay forward and so with that being said we're ready to finish it there as I've said already a fun system to cover and one that I think you guys are going to particularly enjoy and obviously hopefully you guys really do enjoy it as well because you've been asking for me and clamoring one for this for quite a couple of weeks now so really good to get stuck into this one as i mentioned already check out my patreon the link to that is down below you can get access to all those fantastic perks the exclusive tactics videos the tactics package behind the scenes videos and a whole lot more hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notifications every time i upload and until the next one thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon